good afternoon, everybody. I'm Fiona Chu, as Neil said. I'm Deputy Director at the moment at Healthcare Purchasing Consortium. As Neil said, if I was, if I was standing here again tomorrow, I would still be employed by the NHS. If I was here on Thursday, I would be employed by the NHS. But on Friday, I won't be employed by the NHS anymore. And that isn't because I've applied for a new job. And I have to say, thankfully, it's not because I've been sacked. But it is because on Friday, I will be cheaply transferred to a private sector organisation. And essentially, Healthcare Purchasing Consortium will no longer exist, and I will work for a company called Health Trust Europe. So this is really to tell you a little bit about why that's happening and what we see it looking like for the future. So, fairly uh, packed agenda. I'm not going to spend too much time going through the contents list there, but hopefully what I will have done by the end of the session is just giving you a bit of a flavour for some of the key things that are facing us over the next year and indeed what it might mean for you as our either current suppliers or potential suppliers. Be useful actually, just before I go any further, can we just have a quick show of hands? Anybody that currently has a contract with Healthcare Purchasing Consortium? So a fair few. Anybody who hasn't got a current contract via HPC but have actually heard of us? So a fair few. So okay. Apologies for the next slide then because you probably all know this anyway but just a quick recap for those that haven't come across us before. Healthcare Purchasing Consortium actually formed 10 years ago now so 2001. For the last few years we have been an NHS collaborative procurement hub you've heard them mentioned a few times already today uh, principally for NHS trusts in the West Midlands but also a couple of outliers in Luton and currently UCLH in London as well. 